All right, so before we get started with creating our register and login form and the full authentication system, let's just have a quick introduction to server components and see how they work. So for instance, we have our home component here that is just rendering the home page, and this is what we have on our website. However, this is a server component. So in Next.js 15, the components by default are server components. And if we want to use them in a client way, we need to specifically mark that as a client component. So first I'm going to log something into the console in our home component. And I'm just gonna say log from server component. And going back to our website, if we open the console, you notice we have a log here, but there is a tag next to it that says server. Also, if we check our terminal, you notice we have the log here in the terminal or basically on the server side. So this is the default behavior of components in Next.js 15. Now, as an example, let's say we want to use the use state from React in this component. So I'm just gonna create a simple example here. So we will say X and set X, and we will set this to use a state from React. And it doesn't matter what we give as an initial value, but for now, I'm just going to say null. But notice what happens on our website. So we get an error saying you are importing a component that needs the user state. And this React hook works on a client component. And to fix this, we need to use the use client directive on the top of our document. So let's go back to home component. And at the very top, we want to say use client as a string. So if we save this and go back to our website, you can see that error is gone. And this makes sense because we are trying to change the state on the client side. And therefore we need to say this component is a client component. So I just wanted to get this out of the way. And throughout building our form, we will use these directives like use client and use server to achieve the result we want. So now let's get rid of all of this. And we just want to start creating our register and login pages. So we already know how to create a new route. We just have to create a new folder in our app folder and that becomes our URL. So let's create a register folder here. And within that, we need to make a page.jsx. That would be our register page. And here we want to export a React component. I would call it register. And let's just return a div with an h1. And let's add the class title here. I do have a class title and I just want to say register. So we already did this with our dashboard component. And if we go to forward slash register, of course we can see that text. But you can see as we are building our application, this can get quite messy. So to organize your folders without creating a URL, we can create a folder with parentheses. If I say parentheses, auth, and then close that, and then move this register into the auth folder. Notice now it is app, auth register, but this auth folder is in parentheses. We are still able to access that forward slash register, but now in our application, we have more organized code. So we can create folders and exclude them from the URL using parentheses. So now we have a new route. Let's create a link for it in our layout.jsx so we can easily navigate to that page. Right here, we have our dashboard. I'm going to cut it, create a div first, and then paste it back. We can also copy that link and paste it above the dashboard and just change the text to register as well as the URL. And if we go back to our website, here is our register page. We can navigate between pages now. And now we just want to create a form here that would be our register form. So let's create the HTML first. We already have this div with an H1 on the div. I just wanna add some classes. And again, these classes are included in that CSS file from the GitHub repo. So I just use the container class and set the width to half. And under the H1, we will have a form. We will leave the action empty for now, but we will come back to it when we want to handle this form. On the form itself, I just wanna say a space Y4. So we will have some space between elements. Now in a div, let's have a label for email and it should say email. And then we will have an input of type text, or we can set the type to email, doesn't really matter. But for now, I leave it as text. Let's also give it a name email. And this is how we can grab the input value using this name attribute. And for now, this is all we want. We will come back to it later when we have more information. Let's copy this and paste it two more times. The second one is going to be for password. 
So I will change the HTML4 and name, change the type to password as well, and the label should say password. For the third one, I just want to say confirm password like this and let me just fix the label and the type again should be password and if we go back to our website this is our form now let's create a button down here so we can submit the form let's create another div i'm going to add some classes here flex items end and gap four then we will have a button and let's add the class btn dash primary and as a text we want to say register then I want to also include a link to our login page, which we don't have it at the moment, but let's add this here. So make sure you import this from next slash link. So up here, I am importing link from next package. And down here, we can say or login here. Let's set the href to a forward slash for now, and we will come back to it later. And also the class name, we will say text dash link. All right, so this is our register form quite simple and now we want to handle the form submission so let's do that next